Hey guys, welcome back to another video. What we're going to be talking about today is are there too many software developers in 2020? Now I get this question a bit and it's should I start coding? Is it too late to start coding now? I feel like there's so many software developers out there that I'll never find a job. It is a fact that there are more positions available than engineers qualified to fill those positions, right? So what does that mean? It means that while there may be a lot of software engineers, while there may be a lot of software developers, not all of them are qualified or talented enough to work at certain companies or, you know, to complete certain tasks. So if you can, you know, work hard and guarantee that you and guarantee that you like develop your skills, you would have no trouble finding a job. So guys, if you want to become a software engineer, you need to subscribe to this channel. What we do here is I try to help you guys try to give you the perspective from a software engineer that's been working for a couple of years on how to switch career paths or just how to become a software engineer. So as I was saying, there are way more positions available right now than qualified engineers. Now, nothing is guaranteed in life, right? I can't just say that if you become a software engineer, that you will have an, uh, an easy time, you know, finding a job, right? Nothing's guaranteed. But what I can guarantee you is that there are a lot of unqualified engineers out there. There's a, so many engineers out there that either don't have any experience, don't have any projects, don't haven't gone to school, haven't gotten a degree or done a boot camp. nothing. There's a lot of self-taught ones that are really, really struggling to find a job. And while you may think that it's because there's too many developers, um, you know, filling in these positions before you, right? You think that there's too many qualified people and you're underqualified, so you can't find a job. Everyone's taking your job. The reality couldn't be farther from the truth. There's so many positions available. You go on any job search website, you go on Indeed, you go on AngelList, you go on Hacker News, whatever you want you will see that there's so many positions available and every day if you check there's more positions available there's a reason why companies like amazon google facebook they're always hiring they don't just have like seasonal hiring but they're always looking for engineers that's because there's this low demand of qualified engineers out there that can fulfill these roles that can complete these tasks that these companies want right and there's like very simple ways that you can have a huge advantage on the massive amount of unqualified engineers, right? If you have any degree, you have a massive advantage. If you've gone to a boot camp, you have a huge advantage, right? If you have any experience at all, whether this is an internship or a part-time position or like freelancing, contracting, any experience at all, you have a massive advantage. You have something to talk about. And even if you have none of these, what you have to do is, you know, work on a side project, build something of your own so that you can talk about it with relevant technologies, right? If you have any of this kind of stuff, it puts you so so, so far ahead of other engineers. I can't tell you how many there are that don't have any side projects, any experience, and are just not doing anything and then wondering why they can't get a job, guys. The reality is, I can't, I can't stress this enough, it, it is complete bullshit that there's too many software developers in 2020. There are not enough. And another way to put you at a huge advantage is to have some, some interpersonal skills. Work on your interpersonal skills, the way you communicate. There's so many developers out there that are really good at coding, but can't really communicate effectively with the team. They can't communicate, you know, they can't communicate stuff to people that don't have a technical background or they just have trouble communicating in general and are kind of introverted and stuff like that and just can't work as a team. If you can work effectively and communicate effectively with the team, it really really puts you ahead of so many other software engineers. So guys, you really don't have to have don't have to do much to be able to get at least an interview in order to get a job in 2020. It is a complete myth that there's too many software developers. And I know you might be hearing this from me right now and you might be thinking that this this is complete bullshit, but I I'm telling you there's way more positions than, unqual than qualified engineers. This also depends on the location where you are. I'm in Canada. I know in Canada and in the US, there's an abundance of tech jobs, abundance of engineers. And especially in Canada, there's a shortage of qualified engineers. I know this is the same in the US, but the US generally has a larger pool of people. And so there's more qualified engineers to fill the positions. But still, in both countries, there's way less um, qualified engineers than there are positions available. Companies genuinely have a hard time filling software engineering positions. Take it from me where, I, where I've hired people in the past and have interviewed dozen, literally dozens of people and have had and, you know, have had trouble narrowing it down. I've had trouble like getting enough qualified engineers in order to fill the position. It's genuinely hard and not as easy to find in 2020 as you may think. So guys, don't fall into this trap of thinking that you can't code or it's a waste of time to learn to code or become a software engineer because there's too many software developers in 2020. Guys, this is an industry that is only growing and it's way, way harder to, than you think to hire someone. There's a huge amount of unqualified engineers out there and not enough qualified 
qualified once. So what do you have to do? You just have to get qualified. You have to get some experience, get an internship, build a side project, do whatever you can, go to a boot camp, whatever it is. But if you work hard and you genuinely become good at programming, you will have zero trouble getting a job. Zero trouble at all. This being said, though, nothing is guaranteed. So, you know, don't get mad at me if you don't get one right. Like, I, I, I can't do everything. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please take what I'm saying to heart. I genuinely believe this. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Take it easy.